Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here with Games From Scratch and I've got some great news for Godot developers. This one is actually going to blow some of your minds and I know it's going to leave a couple of you a little conflicted about how you're supposed to feel about someone. And i got to start this off with a warning. This is very much breaking news. The primaries have not officially confirmed it, but just as much. And the news here, you head on over to the Godot website, there's nothing there. Uh, Godot 3.2 was released, which is great news of course, but this is huge okay so what we've got going on here is that the newest unreal engine mega grant recipient is the godot game engine yes unreal engine are giving godot a ton of cash how much cash well we will get to that in just a second now as i mentioned earlier on this is breaking news there is nothing yet up on the Godot engine news. There's not formally announced yet, but going on right now is the Godot con and the lead developer basically just straight out said that this was happening. And then on top of that, you will notice the first response here on this gaming on Linux tweet is from Tim Sweeney, the Epic CEO and founder. So that's a pretty big endorsement that this is 100% happening. So let's jump on into the uh, gaming on Linux article and we will find out good news uh, Share for the free and open source Godot engine as lead developer um, Juan Lietzky announced during GodotCon that Epic Games have approved them for an Epic Mega Grant. So how much money are we talking about here? We are talking about a quarter of a million dollars. Yes, they have got a quarter of a million dollars from the Epic Mega Grant program. Uh, we'll get to exactly what that Mega Grant program is about in just a few seconds, but a quarter of a million dollars is going to go a very long way. Now, apparently uh, Juan announced it during his speech over at GodotCon. It's being streamed live, so if you want to check that out, there is uh, details available. Direct link is right there. Um, says they're speaking to many other companies that may also be looking to fund them. Godot Engine is definitely moving forward. Uh, this is true of outside funding in terms of actual uses too, with Godot gaming popularity um, with the recent Global Game Jam. Now, the interesting thing about that Global Game Jam is actually uh, Juan made a tweet about it, and then um, Tim Sweeney from Epic actually did a follow-up post about, you know, it's great to see the growth going on there. So a little bit of a nod and a wink of what was to come, but this is some pretty amazing news. We're talking a quarter of a million dollars of funding there. Now let's put that in a little bit of perspective. We're going to head back over to the Godot website for one second uh, and you will see their current funding level is 12,000 US a month. So what Unreal just did is two years worth of current levels of funding. Now, please, if you are currently a supporter of the Godot engine, your support still matters, even though they got this huge gift from Unreal Engine. Please continue to support Unreal Engine's, uh, sorry, the Godot game engine's development. This is pretty awesome news all around. So, Godot now is quite flush with cash. If you want to check out the live stream from GodotCon, it is available here, as mentioned earlier on. Now back a bit to the Epic's Mega Grants program. Now, this was announced at uh, GDC of last year. So what would that be? January, Feb February, or March of last year. Um, and it was to, to basically give out $100 million to support game developers and media creators and so on uh, with a heavy focus on game development and on open source. So probably the biggest name you've heard here so far is that they gave a uh, million dollars to uh, the Blender Foundation. Now, if one of those things you're worried about is there's always the comments like, okay, is this going to become an Epic Store exclusive or anything like that? These, these gifts have been pretty no strings attached so far. So don't worry, there are no Real, it's not epic buying. Tencent doesn't now own a chunk of the Godot game engine. Uh, this has been going on for quite a while. Now, it is a little interesting to people that um, they're looking at funding basically a direct competitor. Uh, you know, so instead of using Unreal Engine, you could potentially use um, the Godot engine, and Godot is going to be better and a more capable competitor as a result of this. But th they do genuinely seem to be trying to make game development better. And, you know, uh, <laughs> There's no real negatives here. And it'd be interesting to hear from those people that are absolute Epic Games haters. I, I, I like Epic. I, I, you know, I wish Tencent wasn't one of their owners, um, even though it's a minority stake uh, and you know doesn't have a whole lot of influence there. That is a little scuzzy. But then again, Tencent owns a minority stake of pretty much every single commercial game engine out there or game uh, creator out there, it seems, these days. So there's nothing really shocking in that regard. It's scary, but it's not uh, you know anything to vilify Epic Games over. In the Epic Games store, I actually, as a competitor, I, I find Steam has been 
really resting on their laurels for a very long time and they need a good kick in the ass. So I'm not even against the Epic Game Store, but the Epic Mega Grants program, there is nothing to dislike here. The stuff that they have done with the Epic Mega Grants program has been nothing but amazing. So what we're seeing here is the um, Godot Game Engine getting a quarter of a million dollars from Epic Games. And that quarter of a million dollars should go a long, long way. Now, one of the interesting things is way, way back in uh, a year ago, January 10th of uh, 2019. Remember that whole um, improbable server shutdown, self-inflicted gunshot that the Unity game engine did? And then Epic Games came out and basically said, yeah, we'll give uh, $25 million to developers that are looking to migrate, you know, towards open technology and away from, uh, you know, Unity, basically. It was kind of a stick in the eye move. But at the same time, they actually, I said, what about open source engines such as the Godot engine and Zenko? And he was on board with it way back a year ago. So he, he, Tim has been very open about willing to support these various different communities, including um, the Godot game engine. And it looks like they just put their money where their mouth is. So yeah, yeah, really nothing else to say so far. There's again, here, let me do a refresh, make sure that I am not giving you old news. Uh, but Yep, still no official news up on the Godot website, but given, again, that we've heard firsthand from Tim that this is a thing and, you know, telling other people what, that it's available out there for their project, hey, you know what? If you got an open source gaming project going on, you really do have to look into the Mega Grants program because uh, that's another amazing project that they've got behind. And, uh, you know, kudos on you, Epic. I, I'm impressed by this move, and uh, I, I really, again, look forward to the future of the Godot game engine. Uh, they've got very stable funding for years to come, and hopefully will only continue to expand and grow as a result. So uh, let me know what you think. Did you, uh, did you wake up this morning thinking that uh, Epic Games were going to give a quarter of a million dollars to the Godot game engine? Because if you said yes, I, I think you're a lying piece. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.